Welcome to Grace Goes Deeper, a short video series for people who are exploring topics on Christianity, faith, and the Bible. In today's episode, we'll be briefly answering the question, is the Bible trustworthy? Christianity is often thought of as a blind faith, baseless and without evidence. But as we will discuss today, Christianity is a worldview that has strong historical evidence with a Bible that can be trusted. The Bible is the oldest book in the world, and yet it's still the best seller. It is the product of the ancient East, but has completely shaped the West. Many have banned and burned it, and many others continue to revere it today. It is the most quoted, most popular, most translated, and unarguably the most influential book in all of human history. But the Bible isn't just one book, but 66 different books written over a period of 1,500 years by 40 different authors in several different genres, including history, poetry, laws, prophecies, narratives, and sayings. And yet, there is a single thread that brings all these books together, and the single thread is about the same God who has acted throughout history to seek and save his world. And people will say, do you really believe that this is the word of God? That everything in this text is true and trustworthy? And this is a good question and a topic worth exploring. So let's take a look together. It is true that we have no original manuscripts of the Hebrew or Greek texts. And some might argue, one, how do you know that what we have is truly the Bible? And two, how do you know that the Bible has been accurately passed down to us through the years? It might be helpful to start with what we know about the people who preserved the original documents of the Old Testament. The Jewish people felt that the Word of God was very important, almost to a superstitious degree. The scribes who were told to copy the original text had a very important job, and they were incredibly meticulous in their work. Perfection was not just the goal, it was the requirement. And because of this incredibly meticulous process, any scribal copy that was written was so perfect that the people would consider the copy to be as authentic and holy as the original. The oldest copies we had of the Old Testament dated back to around 1000 AD. But in 1947, the Dead Sea Scrolls were found in caves outside Israel, which contained copies of every book of the Old Testament except for one. And these copies were dated to around 300 BC. This was an incredible discovery for biblical archaeology. With the Dead Sea Scrolls, we have manuscripts that date back approximately 1,300 years earlier than our previous manuscripts. And among these scrolls was found a nearly complete copy of the book of Isaiah, now referred to as the Great Isaiah Scroll. When compared to the more current copies of Isaiah, we find a 95% word-for-word -word agreement. And when considering the amount of time that has passed in the number of copies that have been made between these two texts, this is incredible. It proves the careful handling and perfect preservation of the Bible. Likewise, the New Testament copies shared a similar process. Out of the approximately 25,000 manuscripts that we have of the New Testament, there is again a 99.5% agreement between the text, and the 0.5% of the discrepancies are mostly made up of spelling and grammatical errors, with none of the textual variants affecting the meaning of the biblical text. And so with 10,000 manuscripts of the Old Testament and approximately 25,000 manuscripts of the New Testament, the sheer number Accuracy and agreement between the text is unrivaled by any other text in the ancient world. If we were to compare the Bible, for example, to other ancient texts, such as the works of Plato and Aristotle, there are around 200 manuscripts that date back to 900 AD. There is a 1200 year gap from these writings in the original sources. The gap for uh, from Jesus and his followers to our earliest manuscripts is only 60 years, and we have thousands of more manuscripts. Now, people don't doubt the existence of Plato and Aristotle, but for some reason, Jesus is always on trial. And even if you take the second best preserved text of Homer's The Iliad, there are 1,900 copies. But among them all, the Bible outweighs them by far in quantity, quality, and accuracy. 
but even further, even if you didn't have a single manuscript for the Bible, with just the sheer number of quotes from the writings from the early church fathers, we could reproduce the entire New Testament. So not only are the manuscripts evidence, there are millions of external sources that preserve the original text of the Bible. So whether you believe the Bible to be God's word, or simply a collection of ancient writings, scholars agree that no other ancient book has been more carefully preserved, copied, and held together than the Bible. Which should lead you to another question. If the Bible is a reliable text, beautifully held together with purpose and meaning, is it historical? Is it true? A topic we will cover in our next video, where we will dig deeper.